What's up YouTube? My name is John Hammond. Welcome back to another video write up for the Pico CTF 2018 Capture the Flag competition. So this challenge is called Log On for 150 points in the web exploitation category. Challenge prompt says, I made a website so now you can log on to. I don't seem to have the admin password. See if you can't get to the flag. And we have a link we can go ahead and connect to. It looks like we have a login page. It wouldn't have any. We don't have any functionality or accessibility to actually like register an account, but we can like try things. And it said admin password, and just kind of as it says, I'm sorry, the admin password is super secure. You're not getting in that way. So you could literally just try like anything, anything, and get in. So let's just go with the the classic, and we should be logged in. Perfect. It says success. You logged in. Not sure you'll be able to see the flag, though. No flag for you. Okay, so that's fine. Supposedly we logged in. Let's check that out. Uh, the way we can probably do that is by examining HTTP cookies, or the pieces of information and data that your the a web server will store on your computer, like through your browser, to kind of authenticate you or keep your session intact by, by some cookies. So I'm in Google Chrome and just using this web browser plugin called Edit This Cookie. If you wanted to just go ahead and install that, you can, you know, just Google edit this cookie and add it to Chrome in the Chrome web store or whatever. Or you can use Cookie Manager Plus if you're on Firefox, etc., or whatever the case may be. So let's check this out. I'm going to open up edit this cookie. I have a username cookie based off what I answered, my the password that I answered, and an admin cookie, which is set to capital F false. So maybe this is some kind of Boolean test as to whether or not this account is an admin or not. So just off of a hunch, let's try and change it to true. Go ahead and save this, and I'm going to hit F5 to refresh, and now we get the flag just like that. So, silly, cheesy, boring, whatever. Uh, let's jot that down as the flag. Nano flag.txt. Piece it in there. And if you wanted to, we could go ahead and, I suppose, make a get flag script with this. I'm just going to refresh this page, and then we'll go ahead and see... Oh, no, it doesn't give me the... Uh, I want to see if I can actually get the request that the web browser makes and just steal it as, uh, the, as the curl command. If I were to retrieve this cookie with admin being true, if I, if I set this request now, try and refresh the page, it doesn't happen. Weirdness. Okay, I tried it again, and I think I got a little bit more success here. Uh, now it does give the flag, so let's go ahead and copy this as curl. And I think I just had an extra new line in the cookie editor that I was using. So if I paste this in the browser now, it should give me the entire response. And I can just go ahead and just crap out greptac OE, Pico CTF with our curly braces as usual, as we're expecting. Uh, set that color to none. And make that curl silent. So just like that, we should have a get flag script. Kind of a quick and easy way, just grabbing off the dev tools. If you didn't see how I opened that, uh, F12, I think in Chrome, I know for sure we'll do it. I don't know about Firefox, but that'll open up the development tools and you can just go to the network tab and it'll monitor all the requests that you make and as you're talking to a web server. So let's just throw that in a get flag script. Get flag.sh, get a shebang line going, and money, cool. Let's mark that as complete. Whoa. I can't type. It's cool. Still can't type. Not actually cool. Alright, get me back to the game. Whoa, not that far. Let's go ahead and submit that and get 150 points. Cool. My internet connection is still super duper slow. Next challenge is called Reading Between the Eyes, 150 points. It says, Stegosaurus hit a message for you in this image. Can you retrieve it? So this is, interestingly enough, a forensics category challenge, uh, but the text here and the challenge prompt re like references steganography. So we have the image. Uh, I went ahead and downloaded it already because my internet is awful where I am at the moment. So let's just see what this image is. It's husky.png, and we have a picture of a husky. Cute little puppy dog. Little doge. I would love to get a husky as a dog, but I think me and my girlfriend are going to get, like, the, the actual doge, you know, the Shiba Inu. That'd be awesome. A couple years out. Um, so we could do forensic stuff on this, right? We could run foremost on this if you really wanted to go down the rabbit hole and think that it was uh, a forensics challenge. However, it is not just... Getting a PNG out of it is that PNG file itself. You could run binwalk on it if you wanted to. You could 
dig through it however you particularly wanted to. Uh, you could run StegSolve on it. That would be kind of something that I would recommend. I'm going to go ahead and copy it here, just Java Attack Jar. If you don't have StegSolve, totally go get it. It's on the internet. It's on GitHub. Just Google StegSolve. Open up the Husky image. It's a big picture, so we're just seeing more and more of the puppy dog, but there is nothing in here. Alpha Plane is not in there, so that's wrong. The tool that I ended up using with, uh, or going with and using, uh, was ZStack. And I thought this was peculiar, because you can check out the, the hint here. It says, maybe you can find an online decoder. And I'm sure there is one online tool to do this. It's probably pretty obscure or something. Um, but I just did it with ZStack. So if you don't have ZStack, you can install it. I think it requires Ruby and Gem. Yeah. There's a GitHub repository, and you can explore it a little bit. But I use it all the time, because it, it determines, like... LSB, your least significant bit stuff, very, very quickly and in an awesome way. So let's run ZStack on husky.png and it cranks it out. It immediately finds, hey, here's Pico CTF, here's your flag. Neato. Let's go ahead and just steal that. I'm going to get the first two lines. Let's, gr oh, I didn't even need to do that. I could just grep for Pico like an idiot. And let's get the field that we want for our flag. Neat. Easy get flag script, right? I do like to write simple get flag scripts. No matter how stupid or trivial or worthless they seem, I think it still documents the solution or documents uh, the work that we did and kind of just the understanding of the challenge that, uh, I don't know, just memorialize our work, you know? How can I say I don't know and then I say you know like as if... <laughs> As if I've actually made a point. It's weird. I should stop. All right, cool. Got that challenge done. Hope that was pretty interesting. Hope that was kind of fun. Hope that was kind of cool. Hope you're enjoying these videos. Uh, I certainly am. We can mark this challenge as complete and just keep rocking for more on Pico CTF 2018. Hey, just wanted to do a quick shout out and special love time. Oh, that sounds kind of weird. Let's just go with shout-out. Special shout-out to the people that support me on Patreon. Thank you guys so much. Uh, $1 a month on Patreon will give you a special shout-out just like this at the end of every video. I know it's not a lot, but hopefully it's just a little warm, fuzzy feelings for your heart and for your soul. Helping out a dude just trying to put food on the table. I'm grateful. Thank you. $5 a month on Patreon will give you early access to all the videos that are released on YouTube before they go live. Because I like to try and record a lot of content and kind of backlog it so that it's ready. But, uh... I, you know, that just kind of varies on my life schedule. So maybe it's not always the best thing, but I am grateful for it. And it hopefully it'll come in handy for you eventually. If I create a lot, of a lot of content and I have YouTube gradually release it later on. If you did like this video, please do like, comment, and subscribe. It helps the channel grow. YouTube algorithm, magic voodoo stuff. Please do join our Discord server. Link in the description. Cool community full of CTF players, programmers, and hackers. Uh, you can hang out with me and other awesome people. Super duper smart dudes that are certainly smarter than me. Uh, and other things. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope to see you in the next video. Hope to see you on Patreon. Love you. Bye. I tried to, I tried to just like smash the stop record button, but